560. Is that next? Do yes. Do that one next? Final item 42. And um, last year, uh, Senator Wykowski authored a bill that absolutely banned the sale of small single-use propane cylinders starting in 2028. The governor vetoed it. In his veto message, he said he would support extended producer responsibility. That's what this bill is. If any of you have a district that has a beach, lots of these left on the beach. I did a public service announcement as resources secretary asking people to safely dispose of them and recycle them. And there was an animated discussion in Senator Allen's uh, committee on this. And the real desire is that there be a stakeholder process. We are in those discussions. We are starting with industry and sort of the environmental side and expanding wider. And we hope to have a solution that the different parties buy off on. And I think the nature of the discussion is, is this bill forces that solution. And even though somebody wanted to delay it, I think that delays the solution. So uh, that's the goal. I would respectfully ask for an I vote. I have no major uh, witness here. All right. Uh, witnesses in support, if you'd approach the microphone. Supporting concept. Okay. Um, Priscilla Kudos here on behalf of the California Product Stewardship Council, Solid Waste Association of, of North America Legislative Task Force, Stop Waste, and Western Placer Waste Management Authority. We're in support of concept of the bill and appreciate Senator Laird and his office's work on this. We hope to continue. Uh, the discussions and have a, you know, California model EPR program that this bill and this, you know, body has passed before. So appreciate those discussions. And what we're really trying to do is get the costs that are currently bared by the local governments and ensuring that they no longer have to deal with that uh, cost that is currently having to do with dealing with these cylinders. So thank you so much, and we'll continue working. All right. On All right. Others in opposition. In support, uh, support, I'm Josh Simpson with Little Camper Propane, a member of the Western Propane Gas Association and the National Propane Gas Association. Appreciate the opportunity to see this committee this evening. Um, we are absolutely in support of this solution. It is long overdue to find a way to um, make it possible for people to use the fuel that they use for outdoor recreation without leaving the consequence in our parks and campgrounds. Um, this is not a difficult thing to do. It's complicated, but we're sure that Senator Laird will get us across the finish line. We are strongly supporting this bill. Thank you. Anyone else in support? Opposition. I'm not, so I'm not in opposition either. I'm not in support. I'm Mike <laughs> Robeson. and I'm here on behalf of Worthington Industries. And I think uh, Senator Umber and Senator Durazo and whoever else was on this committee last year could remember that I was here opposing the bill that, uh, that Senator Laird referenced from last year, opposing it, saying it ought to be an EPR bill. And so we have an EPR bill. We have an EPR author. We, we, we support an EPR solution for gas cylinders and, and the end of life of gas cylinders. The, the question really is what goes into the, you know, we want this product, this, this solution at the end, how we get there, the details, that all matters. And so I can't support the bill. I can't oppose the bill. We've had a stakeholder meeting, thank you, and we're going to continue. So we'll, 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 we'll report back and uh, look forward to working with Senator Laird, his staff, and everybody else, and keep you in the loop. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Anyone else who wishes to testify in support, opposition, or neither? Uh, seeing no one approaching the microphone, let's turn to the phone lines. Okay. Uh, moderator, SB560, if you'd open the phone lines. First, we'll go to line number 3237. Please go ahead. Please the Chair, members, Nick Romo, on behalf of the League of California Cities, supported in concept. Thank you. Next, we'll go to line number 3222. Please go ahead. Good evening. Christina Mohabir with Californians Against Waste. We support in concept. Thank you. Thank you. And at this time, there are no further. All right, bring it back to committee. Questions? Seeing no questions, just move, bills been moved by. Min. Senator Minigan, thank you. Uh, just a, a question, and because uh, I'm chair of the Judiciary Committee, I have to say and I trust at least once every session. So um, the, the concerns are that, that we make sure that this bill uh, provides for the connectivity in order to facilitate the EPR process, but not such connectivity as that we actually 
uh, create a situation where uh, there can be collusion in other areas. And I know you're going to work hard to make sure that, that we hit that sweet spot. I'm intrinsically anti-collusion. All right. Okay, good. We are, I think we are collectively anti-collusive. So, all right. Thank you, Senator Laird, for that commitment. We'll continue to follow this to make sure that, that it, it is um, in a place where, where we want it to be productive but not collusive. So, okay. Um, Thanks for the discussion and uh, uh, everybody wanting to work on it. I respectfully ask for an item. Okay, great. Thank you. Moved by Senator Min. Uh, Madam Secretary, if you'd call the roll. This is file item number 42, SB 560 by Senator Laird. The motion is due pass to appropriations. Umberg? Aye. Umberg, aye. Wilk? Aye. Wilk, aye. Allen? Aye. Allen, aye. Ashby? Aye. Ashby, aye. Caballero? Aye. Caballero, aye. Durazo? Aye. Durazo, aye. Laird? Aye. Laird, <laughs> aye. Min? My own bill. Min, aye. Nilo? Aye. Nilo, aye. Stern? Wiener? Aye. Wiener, aye. 10 to 0. All righty. Senator Laird, SB 761. Can you 